Hey there, Psych NP students. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button and join our growing list of uh, community members. As a fellow Psych NP student, I totally get the struggle. Today we're diving into the third video in our Preparing for Psych NP School series. In case you missed the first two, you can find a link to all of the videos in the description below. Okay, in this video, I'm going to discuss what you need to do uh, in terms of time management and study strategies before your semester even begins. And remember, you can download this complete checklist at the link below in the video if you want to jump ahead or follow along with me. All right, let's get started. Now, preparing for Psych NP School starts before the semester even begins. What you're trying to do is to set a stage for success, and that's what this ultimate checklist is all about. One of the first places you need to start is with time management and study strategies. So number one in this part of the checklist is to research effective study strategies. Now you may have developed some of these on your own over time, but you might want to take some time and look and see if there's something you could do to improve the way you study, the way you retain, the way you comprehend the important information you're going to learn in Psych NP School or really any NP curriculum. I mean, realize you're in NP school, you're in Psych NP school, you already know the importance of understanding the material you're going to be learning and taught. Techniques like active reading, note taking, um, time blocking can help you be very, very successful in your studies. And having a strategy is going to be really important when you think about the enormous textbook reading requirement there is in Psych NP School. Think of these strategies as like your secret weapons. And trust me, they're going to make a huge difference. They're all about working smarter, not harder. So once you have a solid study strategy down, I want you to consider this, the Pomodoro Technique. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Pomodoro Technique, um, I did a real quick short video about this, and I'll put a link to that above this one. But it is a study technique that is widely used. In fact, it's the study technique that I've used throughout my entire academic years. It really is like magic because you get way more studying done using this technique than you do any other thing that I've tried in the past. And it's very simple. You just break your study sessions into uh, uh, segments followed by very short breaks in between. You do it about four times and then you take a longer break. The Pomodoro Technique can help your productivity, it can help you prevent uh, burnout, and it can help you retain a lot more. Trust me, it's a real game changer and you want to give it a try. And don't forget, you can always find all of these techniques, you can always find all of these items in the full checklist, just download it at that link in the video uh, description. You'll also get access to all of my cheat sheets and checklists that I've created throughout my entire uh, nursing uh, academic career. So go ahead and download it now. Okay, the third thing we want to talk about in this part of the checklist when you're planning for your Psych NP school semester is to go ahead and block off and plan for the challenging weeks that you know are going to come. And these are going to be like weeks before a big exam or weeks where you have a lot of things that are due to be turned in. As a fellow Psych NP student, I know that life, work, family, everything can throw you a curveball. A lot extra time in your study, a lot extra time for your assignments, um, it, it's really going to be a, a, a lifesaver for you. Being prepared as a Psych NP student is the name of the game when you're going through school. Finally, in this part of the checklist, let's talk about those sneaky time wasters and distractions. You know what I'm talking about. Netflix binges, endless social media scrolling. So in this part of the checklist, you want to start to take the actions to minimize time wasters. It's time to identify these time wasters and to minimize them. Maybe you could use uh, website blockers. Maybe you could use uh, dedicated free hours. 
Um, have a specific window in your week where you're going to put these things in. Trust me, it's worth it to identify these things and plan how you're going to keep them out of your way going forward. There you have it, fellow Psych NP students, the third video in our series and really the third part of the seven parts of this ultimate preparing for Psych NP school checklist. Now, you can use this also really for any NP uh, curriculum that you're involved with. However, you're now equipped with the essential time management and study strategy tasks to conquer your next semester. And remember to download the full checklist uh, in the link below in the description and stay tuned for the next video in our series where we're going to dive deeper into how to better take care of yourself while you're dealing with the weight and the burden of everything going on in Psych NP School. If you like what you've heard here, please don't forget to comment, to like this video and subscribe, hit the notification bell. It really helps us get this information out to other students. As always, stay focused, stay positive, and keep driving toward your dream of becoming a top-notch Psych NP. You've got this.